Hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of Buzz Box Impressions. Well, this upcoming weekend uh, we have uh, three fights that I will be doing the predictions for. Well, first one is uh, this. Let's start with the smallest fight with that way. Eric Bazinian versus Alantez Fox. Yes, this is super newweight. Uh, yeah, fight for some two minor titles, uh, NABA, NABF. You know, Eric Bazinian is the undefeated fighter, originally from Armenia, but fighting out of Quebec, Canada. Canada, as they say. <laughs> so this fight is in Montreal. Actually, it takes place tomorrow already. Well, you know, Bazinian is 28 and all 21 knockouts, and uh, Alantes Fox 28 to 3 and 1, 13 knockouts only. So, you know, Alantes is uh, this tall, rangy guy, kind of uh, tricky, but doesn't have much power, obviously, while Bazinian does have enough power, obviously. <laughs> And uh, this will be a rather interesting fight. I mean, Bazinian isn't that much shorter, but still, he's six one, while Fox is six four. Um, yeah, I mean, he can make it tricky, of course, Fox for him. But uh, this will show, you know, just how good Bazinian is. So far, he's been like preying on uh, mostly, you know, either, you know either subpar opponents or you know guys that were once good but no longer haven't been for a long time or you know kind of decent like so roman for instance scott sigmund yeah timo lane uh yeah so um yeah you know this fight is kind of uh, up there <laughs> not that easy for me to predict since i haven't watched uh bazinian actually i don't think i watched him fight so because he hasn't been fighting anyone really of note yet either and stuff like that he's in canada we don't get that much you know coverage from canada only when there's really big fights going on so anyway, Mazinian on paper, this is now that I have to use this so-called, uh, <laughs> this uh, box rec technology, box rec math technology, you know, just go from their respe respective records, you know, don't take me, you know, too much <laughs> up on it, you know, if this doesn't turn out the way I predicted, don't blame it on me. But uh, I'd say Bazinian wins this fight. And since Fox has already been stopped, you know, uh, twice also. And actually in his last fight he was stopped uh, in four rounds by David Morrell. But that's a really, you know, a dangerous fighter. <laughs> but still Bazinian seems to be pretty good also. So uh, this is a 10 round fight, you know, I can see a stoppage coming if there is a cut especially and stuff like that, And uh, but I don't know really, maybe this is a better to go for a point swing, but either way I think Bazinia wins this fight, it's very hard to win for Fox, alright. That's it. Okay, going on to the next one. Arnold Barbosa Jr. versus Jose Pedraza. So this is a really good one, you know, people. Because <laughs> uh, Arnold Barbosa is undefeated, you know, at 27-0. But he's not a puncher, you know. And he's fighting a really good boxer also, Jose Pedraza, who is a... Uh, <laughs> No longer at his peak, but still, you know, a really good technical fighter. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he recently lost to Ramirez last year. That was then he had a draw with Richard Comey. And 
before I had a few victories. I mean, you know, neither of these guys can really punch, so I expect this also to go the distance. Uh, yeah. And uh, Barbosa, since he is <laughs> unbeaten, I guess it's safest to choose him, you know. And, uh, but also, Pedraza can always pull, pull it off as well, you know, pull off uh, a victory here. But this is in Barbosa's territory, also in California, Glendale. And uh, Barbosa seems to be, Barbosa Jr., that is, <laughs> a guy that is, you know, kind of on the rise. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, I think he will probably win this fight, but it will be a close one, I, I do think so. But, uh, it's just, I mean, both guys are uh, kind of slick and, uh, yeah, but also rather, uh, uh, rather aggressive, I would say. And, uh, so that promises to be a good fight, simply. So I favor Arnold Barbosa Jr. to win on points. And finally, um, Emmanuel Navarrete is coming back. Yay. <laughs> First time since last August. And this time, this is his first fight at Super Featherweight. It's for a vacant WBO title against a guy called Liam Wilson from Australia. So this guy, Liam Wilson, is 11 1 and 0. Has that one loss came by knockout to Joe Norine. And then, you know, uh, he avenged that immediately, almost, uh, when he knocked out Joe in a, in a rematch. Yes, so this guy also, we know that he can hit, of course, uh, <coughs> seven knockouts of 11 wins. So that, only that presents a challenge, I guess, for Navarrete. He must look out, you know, he must not get too reckless and uh, so he can get caught you know and this is his first fight at this higher weight we will see how well his power will translate into the new divisions you know because so far he's shown that he can punch at uh, featherweight also even though maybe he's never you know been <coughs> sorry a really huge puncher but he's still uh I mean, against the better, better opponents, and anyway. he, at super bantamweight, he did seem to have, you know, real, real power, you know, but, um, but fair, <coughs> fairweight, sorry, it was kind of just good, I would say, you know, <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyway, this guy is just amazing, you know, Noretti's 5'7", you know, and, uh, a tall guy for these divisions, but Lee Wilson is even taller at five nine and a half. Wow, man! You know these guys, it's crazy. They these days they just. I mean, I heard of a super featherweight that is six foot three. Oh man, come on, it's crazy. And uh, but still, you know, I have no doubt that Navarrete can stop this guy and will probably, and uh, because he's been stopped by a. Uh, far inferior fighter as i said no uh <laughs> yeah so uh this is a, also in the same card when they uh, you know navarrete will he's still 28 you know so he still uh, has has quite a long career you know he has quite many years to go but he's already been active in now soon to be 11 years wow that's also impressive i guess and uh, but he's a mexican so but i think he will uh go on to fight i hope he will go on to fight some better uh also soon now that he he will win the title obviously <laughs> i hope that he goes on to fight somebody like uh I don't know who do you have out there. Uh, yeah, well, there's uh, Cordina and uh, Rakimo are the best fighters at uh, 130 right now. 
And I think Hector Garcia, if he has returned, I don't know if after the loss to to uh, Tank Davis, I guess he will get back to 130. So there are plenty of really good good fights, mouth watering fights to be made there. Yeah. So yeah, I think uh, Alrete will stop uh, Wilson probably. You know, some some I don't know. Uh, may go perhaps eight rounds or something, maybe, maybe not. So, those were my predictions for this, uh, this weekend. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Bye bye.